The curiosity around New King's past and personal life has been growing, and to put to rest the wandering thoughts in your mind, we compiled a list of interesting facts and a list of interesting incidents that have been a part of the new British king. Take a look. King Charles III, here with brother Edward, started learning different instruments as a child, including the piano and the trumpet. He sang in the school choir and played the cello in the university orchestra during his time at Cambridge. He loved playing there, even though he was rather bad, he said in a BBC podcast in 2021. Charles still became the patron of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. In 2000, Charles hired an official harpist for the Prince of Wales. But the new king is not only a music fan, he also loves visual arts. He paints watercolors, like this Swiss ski resort, created in 1993. The works have been exhibited at Windsor Castle and the Royal Academy, and are available for purchase. The sales proceeds go to charities. Music. Check. The arts. Check. And King Charles has also demonstrated that he's a man of words too. As a young heir to the throne, he used to make up stories to tell to his younger brothers Edward and Andrew. This resulted in the children's book, The Old Man of Lochnagar, published in 1980, which is about a man who lives in a cave near the royal estate. The new king is a car enthusiast. To keep that passion compatible with his climate protection work, he had his fleet of high horsepower vehicles converted, his Aston Martin runs on ethanol derived from alcoholic gases emitted during the production of wine and cheese fermentation, while other cars use biodiesel made from old frying oil. He also has electric cars. Despite calling for a sustainable future, the royal's carbon footprint remains hefty. Charles never travels on the same plane as his son William, to avoid losing two heirs to the throne at once should their plane crash. In 2013, the environmental prince faced criticism for having his own brand bottled water shipped to the Middle East to fund his charities, where it was sold in luxury supermarkets. In 1990, Charles founded the organic label Duchy Originals, now called Waitrose Duchy Organic, which, in addition to the royal mineral water, also offers herbal medicines, shortbread, as well as tea and porcelain. Charles is also involved in the whiskey brand Barogel, a robust blended malt with a herbal and medium sweet note. Part of the proceeds supports projects in Scotland. It was often rumored that King Charles gets seven eggs boiled for him every day, from which he can then choose the one with the best egg yolk consistency, a story that has been denied several times by the royal house. Charles is rather seen as a recycler who hates it when groceries are thrown away. It belongs to British culture just as much as the rain, Tea time is a fixed ritual in the new king's daily routine. According to various reports, at 4 p.m. sharp, Charles treats himself to a cup of tea, preferably Darjeeling with honey and milk, along with a snack, since he is said to skip lunch. The German bloodline of the British nobility is well known, but a genealogical tree in the British Chronicles also connects the new British king to Vlad III, commonly known as Vlad the Impaler or Vlad Dracula. The despot from the 15th century served as a model for Bram Stoker's vampire saga, Dracula. Incidentally, Charles was also offered the title, Prince of Transylvania, by Romania in 2017. The list of his honorary titles is long. Charles was appointed chief in Vanuatu in the South Pacific, honorary chief, Red Crow, in Alberta, Canada, and helper of the cows, by the Maasai tribe in Tanzania. Charles was particularly pleased when he was honored for his commitment to the rainforest in 2012 and a rare frog in Ecuador was named after him on this occasion, the Hylosertus Prince Charlesy. Though he was already the longest-serving Prince of Wales, he could have held the title for a few extra years if he'd been appointed earlier. The title, Prince of Wales, is only given to a male heir apparent, but it is not an automatic appointment. Charles went from third to second in line to the throne when his grandfather died in 1952, but it wasn't until 1958, when he was nine years old, that he was granted the title Prince of Wales and its conjoining title, Earl of Chester. Certain visiting dignitaries to the US are given code names of their own, and Charles was given Unicorn. The fanciful name is oddly fitting. The Unicorn is the national animal of Scotland and has been part of its coat of arms for some 600 years. But the first recorded example of a Scottish monarch using a unicorn as a symbol of strength was from the late 1300s, when either Robert II or III used unicorns as part of the arms and gateway of Rothesay Castle on the Isle of Bute, Scotland. Among King Charles III's earliest titles, which he received at age five, is Duke of Rothesay. He once built a town. 
Poundbury is the name of the town, which is situated in Dorchester, England. Charles wanted the town to be a blend of traditional architecture and modern urban planning because he has a long history of interest in urban planning and development. He is also an accomplished painter. In fact, he is among the best-selling living painters in the UK. People magazine reports that King Charles mainly creates watercolor landscapes, and since 1997, sales of his artwork have brought nearly three million United States dollars. Charles gives the Prince of Wales's charitable foundation the money from the sale. His lithographs can sell for anything between 3,600 United States dollars and over 21,000 United States dollars. He farms alone and has a green thumb of his own. He even acknowledged that he communicates with, and instructs, the plants at his farm, according to People magazine. He also loves the environment so much that he has a company, Dutchie Originals, which distributes food and goods produced ethically, and is an advocate of organic farming. He even modified his vintage Aston Martin car so it could run on bioethanol fuel, made from surplus English wine. Unlike Queen Elizabeth II or any other heir to the throne before him, he was not homeschooled. In fact, he was the first heir to the throne who earned a university degree. He attended the University of Cambridge in 1967. In 1996, he was the first heir to the throne to have been granted a divorce. He was married to Lady Diana Spencer. A year later, Princess Diana died in a car accident in Paris. If you like this video, please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe.